Hi, I'm the mythology guy, and yeah, I know my background's different. I'm in the process of moving to another place, so yeah, I'm sorry if I if it sounds weird in here or the lighting's not good in here. I uh, I was a little low on options, um, but uh, everyone wants me to talk about this new Percy Jackson teaser for obvious reasons. I've made videos on the Percy Jackson series. I've crapped all over the movies, and I'm a huge fan of the books. I really, really love them. Like, um, those books connected with me at a time when I really needed something like that. I, I uh, first started reading them, like, in middle school when I literally had no friends. And I really, you know, connected with the Percy Jackson character because, like, I felt similarities to him in a lot of ways. Um, so this, this series means a lot to me, and, uh... I, I'm gonna be honest, at this point, I don't know whether to be excited for it or not, and I'll, I'll get into that, like, reasons for that at the end. Don't worry, I will talk about what I'm sure everyone wants me to talk about, but for now, let's just, let's just watch the teaser and, um, see what they're going to reveal. Let's turn that up a little. The stories that I have told you. Is that Ares? About great gods. Oh, oh, bridge. Okay. Oh, is God? Everything's going by so fast. Ooh. Percy Jackson. We've been expecting you. I'm guessing that's Zeus. Wait, this year? Oh. <laughs> Riptide. I heard that. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Okay, well that was very quick. <laughs> oh, it's only 33 I, I didn't see that going. I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> okay. Um all right, let's let's break that down. Let's look through the trailer and uh, so yeah, opening here, we've got what's pretty clearly this is obviously the elevator that leads to Mount Olympus. Um spoiler alert for the books, but come on, well, they're literally showing it. Oh, and um let me see here. Yeah, there he's got he's got the little uh, necklace. Yeah, there you go. Why why does uh, should he have that many beads? Isn't there like um, one bead for each year he's at the camp? Like why does he have so many? Uh, maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Somebody tell me. <laughs> and then we've got the the gods. Yeah, okay. And here we have Ares. Okay, so um, it looks like mostly good. Like this is this guy looks pretty much exactly how I pictured Ares in the book. Um, outfits pretty proper. Sword looks really badass. It is supposed to be. Is that a two-handed sword? Like it, it, I pictured Ares' sword a little longer, but that's kind of a nitpick. I mean, it, it, this is a really cool-looking sword. To me, this looks like it might be like a one and a half hand. No, you you could easily fit a second. Okay, whatever. I, I I'm sure that I'm being silly right now. Okay, one thing that I don't like. May, it, this might be a nitpick, but wh where's the fire for eyes? Ares is supposed to have fire for eyes in the book, and you're probably thinking, well, he obviously can't constantly have that in the show. Yeah, well, in the book, he wore sunglasses to cover it up. Like I always thought that was really cool that they had that in the book, but uh. I guess we're not getting that here. Maybe they'll have a scene where, like, Percy looks deep into his eyes and sees the fire of war. Or a scene where he gets angry and his eyes in flame or something. But, yeah, it's clearly not a constant in the show. So, um, that's a little too bad. This is obviously for the fight on the beach. I mean, they're literally on a beach. He has his sword out. So, yeah, it's got to be what it's for. Do -do -do. Yeah, the gods are real was that what it said all right now here's the this has got to be the poseidon cabin we've got what looks like some whale skeletons up here um dang <laughs> and uh this looks it looks like we got like i'm guessing this is like a little pool here yeah it uh, it makes sense that the cabin looks abandoned like percy's the first poseidon kid in a while you know what always confused me about the percy jackson books like um in the second book you know tyson comes to the camp because he's a cyclops and he gets to stay in the cabin i'm surprised more cyclopses or cyclopes don't like come hang out at camp half blood every now and then okay and now we've got what looks like a bridge scene it's got a bunch of stuff all over it um these these are obviously campers right i don't remember there being a bridge at camp half-blood um it's probably for capture the flag 
Uh, well, whatever. It, I'm sure it'll be cool. Like, it's not really a problem. Uh, and, uh, shit. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> Let me, uh, get back to... This, uh, this is Medusa. Yeah, here we go. That's, that's a snake, right? That looks like a snake. Okay, so, um, can't really tell who's playing her, but... Yeah, there's not really much else to talk about. It is Medusa, we can barely see anything, so... Oh no, I looked in her eyes, I'm stoned now. <laughs> and we've got Grover here with his legs. I mean, they look fine. I'd have to, you know, see them in motion to see if the CGI is good or not. Yeah, here they are walking around, uh... I'm guessing this is, uh, Thalia's tree. Thalia, Talia, I swear I heard Rick pronounce it Thalia at one point. That's why I pronounce it Thalia, but, um, I guess we'll see in the show what they pronounce her name as. Da -da. Oh, whoop. Here, I'm just gonna do this this time. Alright, so that's Grover. Um, now, here's the thing. I know everyone wants me to talk about the everybody's races, so, um, the thing with me and Grover is... I don't really have an issue with Grover being darker, because I always pictured him kind of tan. Because, well, because he's a satyr, you know, I typically, you know, he's part goat, goats are often, like, brown, yeah, there's white ones too, but me personally, like, I actually kind of always pictured Grover as kind of tan because of the satyr thing, but you know, I'm, I've seen pictures of, like, what he looks like in the comics and in the art and stuff, so, like... You know, I, I completely get why people have a problem with it. Me personally, like, Grover's not a big deal because it's actually pretty close to how I pictured him. And he's got a nice, like, curly hair. Always kind of pictured that, too. I don't know why. Why did I give Grover curly hair on my head? Um, but yeah, like, uh, Grover seems okay. There's very little to talk. Uh, and then, okay, okay. Now let's talk about Annabeth. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> Here's, here's the hole that will end my career. <laughs> Alright, look guys, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, because you don't want me to be fake with you, do you? Um, this isn't how I picture Annabeth. It's like, um, and it's not the actress's fault. I'm sure she's a wonderful actress. I doubt she would have gotten cast. And I'm sure she'll do a good job. It's just, for me, like, personally... It's just not how I picture her, and it, it kind of, it a little bit takes me, like, out of the experience, because, like, when when someone's really passionate about a series, like, be it, like, X-Men or a superhero or, like, Harry Potter or something, um, and, and it gets made into a movie, like, the passionate fans get excited for that movie because they want to see the characters that they love so much come to life on the screen. Obviously, it's never going to be 100%, but, you know, the closer, the more fun, you know? And, um, yeah, um, unfortunately, this isn't how I picture Annabeth. Like, I mean, like, you know, we, we all had a problem with Annabeth in the movie not, e not being blonde or gray-eyed, and obviously not the case here. Um, but there are people who don't have a problem with it, Good for them. I I wish I wish I was more like them. Honestly, this is something I don't like. Is a problem for me, but uh, but you know we'll we'll see how she performs. Maybe she'll act so damn good that I'll be like, oh no wonder. But uh, yeah, for now it's it it is a it is a thing that's kind of um, that's kind of what's even the right word? It just taking me out of the experience a little. That, that's it. It looks like she's stabbing uh, somebody, and uh, I can't really tell who. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, attended, but this has got to be the Chimera. This has got to be the Chimera. So maybe that's what she was stabbing. <laughs> yeah, because I remember they fight the Chimera at, like, a tourist attraction. Um, so, and, yeah, here we have attendant booth. So, yeah, those have got to be the goat horns. I'm really excited to see the whole thing. Yeah, I, I hope it looks really cool. Do do Right here, we've obviously got the Minotaur attacking them in the car. And here's all three of them on the beach. It's weird, uh, during this scene, it sounds like Zeus is talking to them, but this has got to be the Ares scene, um, because he says, we've been expecting you. What I think is doing, I think they're doing that trailer thing where they take audio from one scene and play it during a completely different scene. Kid playing Percy looks okay. Um, I can't really see his eyes. Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in. 
Um, I hope he has green eyes. I'm not 100% sure. Da -da -da. And apparently it's coming out this year, so that's... Wow, that's sooner than I thought it would be. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Dang. <laughs> and then they play the Riptide song <laughs> during the outro. That, that was a cute little touch. I do really like this uh, title card. I like how they have the trident here for the Y. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah. And, uh, honestly, one other reason I'm not sure whether to be excited for it is, uh, honestly, because it's a Disney Plus show. I mean, uh, Disney Plus shows haven't been very good lately. Uh, I started watching Secret Invasion, and I honestly am not motivated at all to continue it. I was so bored watching it. And, uh, Mandalorian has gotten really weird lately. I, I don't know. I know a lot of people are really excited because Rick Riordan is heavily involved, and it's like, I get that, but we gotta keep in mind, even though I do think it's a good thing for original creators to be invo heavily involved, it doesn't always guarantee success. Keep in mind, George Lucas was heavily involved with the prequels. In fact, he was the master of the prequels, and when those came out, they did not do well. Well, they did well, but people... They were not well-received. Um, J.K. Rowling was insanely involved in the Fantastic Beast movies, and two out of three of those films were absolute crap. So, uh, we've never seen Rick be involved in a project like this. I want it to be good. I really want it to be good, but we'll see. Um, ooh. <laughs> that's, uh... We all know what that's about. And, you know... I'm pretty sure this controversy is going to hurt the show. Like, this is going to hurt the show. <sighs> I always hate it when, like, um, a, a project that could be really great, like, starts out with, like, some controversy like this. Like, you know, hurting it and causing problems where there didn't need to be problems. But it is what it is, you know. Um, we just got to take it for what it is now. And I really hope it's great when it comes out. I hope I love this show when it comes out. Because I love the books. Hated the movies. Um, and, uh, well, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say about that. Um, I've got some other stuff to look at. Apparently there's some new Black Myth Wukong gameplay out, and there's a new Monkey King movie on Netflix. And I still have to go see Last Voyage of the Demeter, so... Got a lot to do right now, all while I'm in the process of moving and writing another Inaccuracy video. Oh, complicated few days. But, like, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Like, I, I, I don't want to shut down anybody's thoughts or opinions, but I'm, I, I'm just say, just be civil about it, please. Like, don't be a jerk about it. That's where, like, your point becomes a problem. Like, but, you know, everyone has a right to, like, enjoy or not enjoy something. And, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But that's all I gotta say. I don't know how to end videos.